so our first task is we have to head to the slums and let's take a quick look at our map we're in the commons so we're going to dust town here all right so where am i right now very difficult to see where i'm at i can't tell where i am because i can't see my uh can't see myself. That's the gem merchant. No flipping idea where the hell I am. Alright, so let's move. Oh, nope. I can see where I'm at. So we're going to Dust Town and we're gonna look for the book thief. Yep, we're going to the dust town to look for a book thief. Alright. So, bald head. This dude, yep. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a thief who dared to steal from the Shaper It. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? <laughs> you walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Alright, well... Not too bad for me. Okay. Proving received. Okay, let's drop this volume just a tad. Proving receipt, huh? I'm gonna take a quick look at my inventory. And go quest items. Plot items. Proving receipt. Okay. A losing betting receipt crumpled in anger. These are only printed in the proving grounds. Okay, so we gotta go to the proving grounds for something. Okay, so we know we had to go to the Proving Grounds anyway, so let's hit the journal. Uh, so, yeah, he, something in the Proving Grounds. So now, a Lord's Trust and Unlikely Scholar. I have to leave to do Unlikely Scholar, so we're going to do a Lord's Trust. Okay, so everything else is to go to the Proving Grounds, right? So everything else has to go to the Proving Grounds, because we're going to the ro deep roads after. So we're just going to go to the Proving Grounds now. Okay. So everything else is to go to the Proving Grounds. So let's take a quick look at where the Proving Grounds are. That's Diamond. That's Imports. That's the Palace. That's all. Yeah, that's the way out armors. Is this the Proving Grounds? Yes, this is the Proving Grounds. So we go to the middle and turn south. Alright, so let's keep going. Okay. And just about right here. Yeah. Okay, oh, there's a nug. Do you think the tower is ever going to get back to what it was? When... I don't know. A great number of people died. It will be difficult to imagine rebuilding. That cloud hanging over everything for many years to come. Alright. Okie dokie. I have a sip of water. Now let me go in. Alright, so the thing is we have to talk to every single body here. So let's talk to everyone in this room and then move on to searching the other rooms. Derek? Watch for Pio Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. Okay. Isn't that nice? Guess you watch a lot of provings then. Front row seats at every grand proving since my father took me on his shoulders. 
Name's Vardik. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old Roosten Taig. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. Nope. Uh, so the proving's a tournament? What are the rules? They change from round to round. Sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. Okay. Have you ever fought in one? Me? Are you out of your mind? I'm a miner, not a warrior. Okay, so it's a tournament. Sure. Like King Endrin was just a noble. A proving is a sacred art. Any dispute brought to the proving round is settled by the ancestor's decision. And no one can protest it. Okay. Okay, excuse me. I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Okay. Don't know who Kyotin is, but whatever. We've got his got his name in our memory banks. Now this is a guard, so I don't need to talk to him. Okay, that is the Proving Master. This is... Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never seen you before in my life. Nor I you, but it's pretty obvious who you're working for. Okay, who do you think I'm working for? So I take it you weren't sent here to find out if I withdrew from the Proving. In that case, never mind. Okay. How Mount hurt that his own cousin would walk out on him? If you tell me what's happening, I could help you. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But... We didn't exactly stop seeing each other. Got it. So you're afraid your affair will be exposed? And now Balin's found out? I thought we were discreet, but she's married to a Desher's heir. He'd kill me if he knew. So I have to slink out of here like some worthless brand for fear Balin will tell the whole city. Okay. Would you fight again if your secret was safe? There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. Um, what evidence does he have? They have letters. Love letters Ravelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. Okay. I can get those letters back. You'd do that? Of course I would. I don't know how to thank you. I, I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. Balin's fighter, Miaja, has the letters. If you make sure she never shows them to anyone, I'll fight for Harrowmont again. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. Alright. Now, I gotta find those damn letters. Who this? I can't even pick him. Proving... Fan... Proving fan. Who this? Proving fan. Question is, can I go back there? Can't go there. So I'm not sure where I have to go. Uh, journal? Okay, first task, make active, okay. Basil was having an affair. Alright, but retrieve them from where? I'm going to save because I don't want to screw this up. Alright. Alright. 
The proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the fight? Mm hmm. I'm gonna fight. Let me hear more about who's fighting. Well, with politics what they are, many combatants are dedicating their fights to either Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont. Mostly Balin. It's a regular parade of past winners out there. Piotr Naidukin always needs a battle unit. He's the prince's cousin. Miaja and Luke John are twins from the warrior cast. They fight together, put on a good show. They'll all be in their chambers if you want to talk. Okay. Sounds interesting. I'll come back later. Don't wait too long. The proving will begin as soon as everyone's ready. All right. So, in their chambers. Now, check the map. Okay, so now I can do this. All right, so we're going to be going... Well, first of all, of course, you know, as an RPG fan, first you go in the direction that you're not supposed to. Why? Because loot and discoveries. That's why. Discoveries and discoverizations. Okay, we've got, what is this? This is a random, okay. Go away. I don't talk to admirers until after the fight. Okay, dipshit. Okay. Well, I don't know what the hell that did. It gave me 40 experience points, but... Okay, who the hell are you guys? Guards, remove this intruder. Okay, well, whatever. Rude much. Okay, what do we got here? We got a big door that we can't go in. Okay, well, that's that. Now we go in the other direction. Wait, 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 wait. So this is a... No, we unlocked the door. Love letters, take all. All right. Now. The proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. Okay. I have your letters right here, buddy. Where did you get those? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know. Just thank you. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. All right. Will you fight in the proving then? I will be glad to fight for Harrowmont in the provings. Thank you again, friend. All right. Now we have to go in the other direction, which is this way. But where, where is it? It's this way. Let's. And. Now. Let's go map. And we have. Okay, I see. This guy. Okay, well, we're gonna... Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna move away from you now, because I don't want to... And I'm gonna hit you in the back now. Alistair, Alistair, okay, Alistair. Okay, Alistair. You need to heal, buddy. No, Alistair, you need to heal. Well, let's go after this guy.
Okay, push in. Okay, I'm gonna be talking to you in a minute, but I'm gonna loot your friends first. You were keeping some bad company there, buddy. Okay. And you? This deal was all their making, Warden. Technically, I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few coins. Not that I'm suggesting anything. But you're holding the prize now. Okay. I should shut you down hard. Yes, well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. Okay, well, if I can't come at you, then I won't come at you. What this? Can I get something? Okay. Alright, these aren't... I don't need to talk to these people, I don't think. I don't think I do. Let's find out what happens if I do talk to them. Okay. I'm Raven. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. Okay. What are the Silent Sisters? They're an order of female warriors, founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The women who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. Wow, that's gross. Okay. Whose side are you two on? The Silent Sisters support the Sitting King. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. Okay. You should reconsider who you call king. Your bravado is meaningless. When a Silent Sister fights, she doesn't do it with words. If you would back up your claims, enter the Proving. The Ancestors will show who they think is worthy. Okay, well... I'm an elf and you're a dwarf, so my ancestors are slightly older than yours. Depending on with which mythology we're going by. Lord Dude. Alright, so I think this is the guy I talk to if I want. I'll talk to him. You looking at something? I was. You? Get out of here! Alright, well, if you're gonna be rude about it, I'm gonna move on. Now this is the dude I believe is the other person that I give the uh I show the letters to if I wanna be a douche. Gwyden? Who is he? I don't know who he is. A Lord's Trust, the first task? This journal. Okay. Okay, find out what Gwyden won't fight. You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm Raven, one of the Grey Wardens. It's a pleasure. Sorry it can't be longer. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. Okay, uh, why aren't you fighting for Haramont? I fought for House Haramont in the Deep Roads for 20 years, and will again. I don't regret a minute of that service. But it's my family's job to protect this city, not get caught up in political games better left to the noble cast. It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's not true, though. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? Okay. Uh... From Haramount himself? Okay, I'm... Doolin... Doolin, and I'm, uh... Rallying honorable fighters for Haramount. I, uh... I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I, I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. 
If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Okay. Get back into proving and knock some heads. Maybe I will at that. Excellent. Alright, so I've got you. Alright, see, I didn't want to lie to him. I didn't really want to intimidate him, but I definitely didn't want to lie to him. Alright, so I gotta get out there now, and I'm going to be fighting in the Proving as well. So we got three dudes coming down heavy on Haramount side. Alright, so let's go do this. Ha, you're back! Mm -hmm. Did you wish to fight in the Proving today? Absolutely. I'd like to fight as Haramount's champion. Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? Okay. I'm Raven of the Grey Wardens. I'll just call you Grey Warden, since those elven names are such a mouthful. Right. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Yes, I am. That's what I like to hear. I will warn you though, this is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start or would you like some time? Okay. The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Oh no. Let's fight. Go down to the ring then. I'll be right there. All right, let's get it, get it on. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entran. First up is Suwan of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwan made history as a lad of 12 by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him in Lord Haramont's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Iduken and our future King Balin. Okay. For the glory of Lord Haramont. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Alright. And what are we gonna do? Dirty fighting. Come on, attack him, attack him, buddy. Fighting Stark Warden. Suwern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Yes, let's get it on. Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entran. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior cast twin terrors now fighting for Prince Balan, the Aja, and Luke John. May the stone honor you. Fall. Okay, the Lord Haramon. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Okay. There's always dirty fighting. Come on, hit him, hit him. Okay, yeah, we gotta do some stuff here. Suppressing fire, we, we're on, we're doing the press, suppressing fire. Crippling shot. Okay, I gotta heal.
Come on, hit him. Why, why do I keep doing that? Hit Alright, hit him. And we're gonna hit him with a little dirty fighting. Shame about the face! Alright. Alright, deal. Get some damage on him. Got it. Wonderful! The winner is the Grey Warden! Alright. Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Paramount's champion has held the field so far. But how will he do against one of the legendary Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proves her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. All right, cat got your tongue? For the future king, Haramont. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Okay, we're gonna click on you. And what options do I have? I have suppressing fire. I'm already doing that. I have crippling shot. Alright, let's do that. Okay, let's okay we're gonna take a, a health a health poultice. Here we go. Gotcha. The winner is the Grey Warden! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Alright, yeah, I am. Excellent! Let us go! Let's get it. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is air combat. Just as Kiyotchev fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Hey. Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Bojack, Ivo, and Valans. Okay. I choose Alistair. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Okay, so I'm going in on this guy. And Alistair. Boom. We're going to double up. All right. Back to me and go. Him. Now I'm gonna move on to this guy. Okay, let me move. And get him from behind. Didn't have to. The winner is the Grey Warden! Wojak Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Aramont picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Oh yes, yes I am. And good Excellent. job, Alistair. Let us go. Let's get it. 
This is the glory proving, fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entran. Only two warriors remain, fighting for his royal cousin Balan, the Oten Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Harrimont, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Iduka. Okay, that's not the door of our way, and I dedicate my triumph to Haramount's victory. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! Alright, I'm going in on this goofus right here. We all still Hello, so... and let's get some distance here. And I want this guy. Go. All right, let me watch Alice for a little bit. All right. First of all, keep going on this guy, and Alistair, eat, and back to me, and win. Attack. All right. Alex is getting smacked. Alright, win. You're in range. Go over there. No. Win. Move. Alright. Back to me. And that guy's already down. Right. No, I'm taking you on. Okay, uh, you can't take one. Alright, so Alistair, we're gonna have to go inventory and greater health. Alright, and, alright, and take one. And me? Okay, why are the uh, dwarves looking at me? Alright, move. <laughs> Alright, let's get this guy. Alright. Ooh, Alistair, come on, heal again. Alright, and back to me. Alright, everybody on this guy. The Grey Warden! Okay. Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Haramont. Okay. May the assembly heed the ancestors and choose Haramont. The ancestors speak through you. Congratulations, Warden. All right. Heal everybody up. Now, where are we going? Push out. And first of all, that was a lot. So, we going... Get to the bottom, save game, and we're gonna go with, uh, back that all the way up, and it is proving one. Save it all, baby. Alright, let's move on. Gwyden? You showed him. The ancestors are smiling on Lord Haramont today. Indeed they are. Now, we got to go meet Lord Haramount now, I believe. So let's check our uh, journal. 
Uh, okay, Lord's Trust. Okay, return to... Okay, I, I gotta go to the tavern. Alright, and the Tapster Tavern is where? Well, we'll find out later. Uh, close journal, and we're leaving. Which way is the way out? Map? Where am I? I'm here. And I think... Yeah, that's the way out, so it's up here. Okie dokes. There we go. Congratulations and well fought. My cousin was wise to choose you. Indeed he was. And I was wise to choose him. Alright, so I've got a few things we gotta do. So, let me, I gotta talk to Lord Harriman, but I also have to take that book to the dude in the Shaperit. Now, the map says the Shaperit is, that's the Chantry, that's the Tapster Tavern. The Shaperit is in the uh, Hall of the Ancestors, no? Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna Do just... you really know what's going on here? No. Light, Civil War. I really wonder how much of it we understand. Alright, so I'm just gonna go to the Cloud District. Excuse me, not the Cloud District, the uh where the rich folk live. All special. Big parts to play. Alright, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to where the rich folk live and we're gonna go visit the uh the Shaper It and hand in that book. So we're gonna go journal and we're gonna make Thief in the House of Learning active. All right. Lord Balin suspected of personally defacing Wow. You guys do not Lord stop. Lord Halamont is a uh, weak man. And he'll be a weak man. All right. So let's just take a quick look at the map. And we're trying to get the shape of it right there. All right. So it's pretty much like right as you start to go down, just like right there. That's the shape of it. Okay. You found it. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. Thank you very much. Now, if that's all, we're going to go back. Uh, not there, journal. And a Lord's Trust. And we're going to make that active. Uh, a Lord's Trust. We'll make that active, please. Okay. And... Alright. Mother's Hope and Lost to the Memories. Alright. Let's do it. Delighted. Okay. Now... Ooh. That was weird. Okay, so we gotta go back the way we came, and we're gonna go visit Lord Harrowmount now. Lord Harrowmount is... Well, that's the chamber assembly. That's the Shaperit. That's the palace. And that's House Harrowmount. Okay, so we, we had to come here anyway, so... I mean, we had to come to the district anyway. Alright. Raise your voice in favor of Lord Balan. He will bring us shame. All right. Have arrives in Orzammar. Undoubtedly to offer assistance to Lord. All right. So now we're gonna scout your whole house. Now we're gonna scour this entire damn house. Take a quick look at the map. Okay. I have no idea. Lord Harrowmount's office is that way. Well, that means if that's his office, then we're going to every place else first. But all absolutely. Okay, what the hell are you, noble? Just sitting there. And so I shall. All right, let's take a look around here. Ooh. Oh, I'm because I'm I'm looting everything under the sun, so that just is crossbow. 
Dwarves favor crossbows more than bows. Always gotta remember that. That looks a lot like dwarf and Skyrim armor. All right. Okay, we've got Tercy and Noble. Uh, can I get over there? Y'all just watching me walk, run around your house looting, right? That's just all right with y'all. Okay. Okay, well, I can't do it. Terse? Who is you? You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. Okay, well, I am, but... Hoping for something more concrete than that. Alright, well, that's all there is there. Can't go in there either. Okay. 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 Interesting note. In this reality, beards are not a universal dwarven thing. Alright. What do we got here? Paramount's office. Oh. <sighs> I forgot. We're not supposed to just come and see Haramount. It's, it ain't like that. You don't just go see Haramount. You gotta go visit the dude in the tavern first. Well, excuse me. I'm all up in the wrong spot. And the tavern is... The tavern is in the other district, isn't it? The tavern isn't even here. The tavern is... In the commons. Yep. I go all the way back to the commons. Alright, that's okay. Noble? Who is this guy anyway? Can you believe it? Albert's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Okay. Who are you? Who's Ogren? Ogren's a drunken wretch. He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. Okay. What happened? All Mino's son said was how unlikely it was that a bunch of smiths would return safely from the deep roads. Which is true. Ancestors preserve us. That's what the warrior caste is for. But Ogren claimed it was an insult to a paragon. Next thing, they're in a duel to first blood to defend Bronca's honor. Then Ogren starts screaming and runs him through. Wow. Wasn't the duel of first blood? It was a huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the deep roads. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. Wow. Why does Ogren care so much about Bronca? <sighs> She's still his wife, isn't she? Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. Wow, okay. Okay. Is that what you two were arguing about, Bronca? It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. Okay. Why did she go into the deep roads in the first place? Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. Okay. How did she become a paragon? She invented a smokeless fuel that let the smith cast increase their output by nearly a third. Deaths from the Black Lung also dropped. The assembly said she had the favor of the ancestors and declared her a paragon. They moved Bronca, Ogren, and all their relatives to the noble caste and founded a new house in her name. Okay. Okay. So she was married to the drunk? Well, before she was a paragon, she was just a smith. And Ogren was one of the best warriors of his generation. Okay, I should be going now. 
If you see any guardsmen, tell them Ogren was at it again. No, I'm not gonna rat the dude out. His wife left him. I kinda feel bad for the guy. So let's go to our friend at the bar, take a quick look at the map and where the bar is. That's the tavern, so it's next to the last, okay? Right before you get to uh, the deep roads. So the bar, the tapster tavern is, that. well that's gonna be it. And so I shall. I think the pictures of mugs gave it away. Can we? Can we? Can we? All right. Well, we got a few people in here. Oh, we got wonderful! A dwarven tavern. I've always wanted to try some of their ale. I hear it's quite potent. Okay, Cora. I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? Okay. I'm looking for someone. I maybe I can help. Okay. Thought Ogren might be here. He should be by the trash barrel. Easy to spot. Everyone gives him a wide berth. Okie doke. Alright. Okay, so who else is there anyone else in here I can talk to? Patron nobody. Wow, can't even hover on you. Okay. Nevin, who's, who are you? Afternoon, stranger. You're looking for a stool to share a brew? Mm-hmm. Who are you? Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? Okay. Robin, Grey Warden. Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the Deep Roads when that one came by. What was his name? Duke Can, Dunka. Something like that. Yeah. You knew Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. Yeah. You work for Balin now? I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Huh. All right. I've never been to the Deep Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. Yeah. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. All right. Okay, who's sending you out? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tides. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Okay. Who else is in the Deep Roads? Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. I guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. All right. Who's sending you out? Balin ordered us in at first bell. Okay. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tides. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. All right. Seems to be who everyone's after. All right. Thanks. I'm out. I'm out. Watch yourself. Wars of our politics are getting near as dangerous as battle. Yeah. I, tell me about it. I just fought a whole proven. Oh wow. Okay. I need to find Ogryn. I don't understand why the provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Lord Helm? Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother. Wow. Doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Hmm, sort of. Contra the Puce, okay. Controversial opinion for a dwarf of the assembly. 
Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamara so mired in tradition no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Hmm, okay. So you get to vote in the next king. So how would a cast? How does the cast system work anyway? Badly. Oh, <laughs> you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Okay, wow. So you get to vote in the next king? Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. I don't think so. Who are you going to vote for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. <laughs> but Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thank you. As you wish. And I agree with you 100% on, uh, on dude. Alright, so, Tabster. And Augurin. Let's talk to Augurin. What do you want? Hey, I heard about you. Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. No, that's exactly why I'm coming here. Um... All of the rest of whom? Power-hungry Deep Lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. Okay. Okay. Is that who Bronca is? She's the Paragon? I know who Bronca is. City's only living Paragon, and she's been lost in the Deep Roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. What's it matter to you, huh? huh. You trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He wants it for himself, right? A little blessing from the Ancients' technology, and he's assured the throne. Is that it? Um... What if I genuinely want to help you, though? Too little, too late. But it's a nice gesture, Warden. If you think your boot kissing will get you an in I don't have, you're welcome to try this. <laughs> I know both Harrowmont and Balin have been asking about her. Two years without a peep, and suddenly now they want to start looking. If you find out what they know, it might just put me a step closer to finding her. Or sit here and have a drink. It's all the bleeding same to me. Barkeep! Alright, dude. I'm gonna help you as much as I can. You have my sympathies. Nervous adventurer? Oh, I gotta talk to the nervous adventurer. What? Get away! You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. Okay, what are you talking about? Is this Darkspawn corruption or just madness? There's things older than Darkspawn. And once you're in the story, they find you. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie! I won't! Oh wow, okay, so that's deep. Um, I wonder... Inventory? Uh... Box of Nugs? 
Metalor, Corpse Gall, Scroll. Wow. Who do I give the Corpse Galls to? Love Letter, Ancient Treaties, Letter, Small Painted Box. Okay, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. But anyway, let's go talk to Doolin. Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the Proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Weisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Haramont will see you now. Excellent, lead the way. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. Alright, well, I'm looking forward to meeting him. This the feller? I appreciate what you have done, Wooden, and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrell Harrowman, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. Okay. Why would Edrin prefer you over his own son? You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. Edrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Edrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. Okay. You believe you'd be a better king than Balin? I have never sought the throne. My role was to serve Endrin first as his advisor, then as an elected desher in the assembly. A Harrowmont has never been king, and I always assumed Trian would rule after his father. But both Endrin and my colleagues have asked me to step up, and I will not back down when Orzammar needs me. Okay. The Assembly is more power than the King? The Assembly represents the voices of the wisest, most noble families. While we need a single King to preside over important functions and lead us in battle, the Assembly better represents all in Orzammar. Okay. All I want is your support against the Blight. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to come, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? Yep. I have. What about him? The Assembly receives pleas every day from the common folk, begging that something be done about her. So far, no one has managed. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town, the raw edges of the city where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. Okay. I'll go. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Javier in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. All right. Well, I have my mission, and that is going to be where we leave off this particular episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time when we go to Dust Town to catch a thief.